The year is 2251. You are the solo pilot of a fast light transport carrying an oxygen generator from Earth to Mars. The Mars colony's last transmission, 12 hours ago, reported total breakdown of their O2 system and both backups. The 240 colonists now survive on bottled oxygen, of which they have a four days supply. The planets are not well aligned for a Mars trip and your ship had to be stripped down to bare essentials and loaded with extra fuel to make the trip in time. At the end of your ship's acceleration phase, you notice an alarm has gone off. Your ship is 70 kilograms over mass. The extra mass combined with a longer burn cycle has used up all of your fuel reserve. You investigate and soon find the overage. Wedged under the cargo is a stowaway, a young woman of about 20. Her name is Meredith. She wanted to join her brother on the Mars colony. She starts to apologize, but you interrupt her. You have less than one hour before the deceleration burn starts. At present mass, your ship will run out of fuel before slowing enough to land safely. You and Meredith jettison her knapsack and coat. With a laser cutter, you remove unnecessary interior parts, seats and bulkheads, and jettison them too, along with the first aid kit. But most of the ship's non-essential parts are made of lightweight aeroplastics and the total mass lost is less than 20 kilos. You consider your options. The ship has wings. A good pilot, a very good pilot, might be able to glide her in with no fuel. But the thin Martian atmosphere is notoriously difficult for air braking, and you are not a very good pilot. You are just a rocket jockey who happened to be the smallest guy on duty when the emergency call came in. You rate your chances of making a successful zero-fuel landing very low, a last resort. Taking manual control of the navigation and approach during the deceleration burn is even more impossible. You don't have the time or the skill to recalculate an approach, and the risk of overshooting the planet is too great. You and Meredith look at each other. The final stage of landing the ship on autopilot requires skills that she does not have. There is no way you could sacrifice yourself to save her. It looks like you have only two options. Try to land the ship yourself, risking a crash that would kill you, Meredith, and the 240 colonists or jettison Meredith into space, with or without her consent. You are strong enough to overpower her if you had to. The ship must be back to programmed mass when the burn cycle starts in a few minutes. What is the right call? And if Meredith disagrees with you, should you be willing to force her into the airlock? <laughs>